Hi, how are you? It's Finovar here from Prima Marketing, and this is Latest and Greatest, brought to you by Scrapbook Expo. We've got a couple of the new products for my mixed media line, and we show them during this CJ show. And I want you to see what we have for you. They're called Art Stones, Mini Art Stones, and Texture Powder. And these products are all the same family, and they're natural mineral, and they will help you create your own uh, beautiful textures on your project. So you can just add them to anything to create texture paste of your choice. So first of all, what you can do, you can pick, for example, bigger art stones. They look like real uh, stone, but it is very, very lightweight. It's almost like air in your hand, so it doesn't add any heavy body to your project. And if you'd like to mix them in, of course, you can use any of our products, for example, Art Basics Heavy Body Gel or 3D Gel or Modeling Paste. And by simple mixing, these two ingredients, you create very coarse paste. But my other idea is just using one of the mediums to create the thin layer on your project and then simply putting these on the top and then pressing with your finger to create the look you like. And of course, the more of the gel or the paste you're using, the more likely these will going to stay in place. Just to show you how they look like when you have them both together, the mini art stones and the art stones, they are just simply glued on the top of heavy body gel or any other gel from my collection. So the other way, we'll be mixing these inside. So we've got our, let's say, mini art stones now. So they are more fine. And you can just make your creative mix. You can later use this mix to work with stencils or just simply apply it uh, with the texture tool. This is my brush with the texture tool on the other side. So you have a little bit of the base. Then you put these ingredients inside. And in a moment, just like mixing dough with the poppy seed, you have your own texture paste ready to apply. And then you take any kind of surface and you can play with stencils, just applying through the stencil to create wonderful effect. very nice coarse paste that uh, will dry almost natural color of the ingredient. This is going to be more or less this color after drying because we are using the gel paste, which is transparent. But if you put it into modeling paste, remember the color will change. Just to show you the effect after drying, this is exactly the same paste we created or with the same pattern. That's how it looks like. Once you have the space done and applied, you can use your heating gun to dry it. And then you can use any kind of art medium on the top to create beautiful effects. For example, on this <laughs> tag I made, you can see this is the background layer that I made with the same paste. And then I built elements on the top of that. The same effect here in these places when I was using this uh, mini art sound paste to make interesting background for my collage. The last one from the family is the fine texture powder. And this one is almost like very delicate sand. So it will work as a thickener for any of our art mediums. So if you would like to make your heavy body gel even heavier. You can do it by simply putting these two together. But also, you can get great effects putting that directly into acrylic paint, into your ink, or any other colorful medium. So they're just very easy to use, and they're just fun, very neutral. They don't have any bad reactions with uh, your art medium. So that's just pure fun. So just to remind you, we've got new art ingredients. We've got art stones. We've got mini iron stones and texture powder. Thank you so much for watching.